Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. We've just had our next update in regards to the next Terrorid Spotlight event happening in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So we've had details drop earlier this morning about the next Terrorid Spotlight event that will be happening in Scarlet and Violet. And it won't be sticking to the usual schedule where we're seeing them mostly on a weekend. This one will be all revolving around Valentine's Day, which will be kicking off a week today on the 13th of February and will be giving us special event raids, which will be offering Tandem Mouse in this spotlight event. So as you can see, it will be happening for Valentine's Day. It'll be running from Monday the 13th of February and running until midnight on the 14th of February. So that'll be the Tuesday night. So a very short period of time where this event will be running, but you'll be able to get yourself tandem house in the spotlight raid event with all sorts of random terror types tied to them. So it's gonna be a nice event to just grab yourself a different tandem house so you can get that mouse hold with different terror types. But on top of that, they have revealed that these events will be given additional items such as sandwich ingredients. So nothing like Herba Mystica or anything like that, which would be good but you're gonna get a bunch of sandwich ingredients and they do mention strawberry slices and whipped cream here to enjoy Valentine's Day with your friends, wink wink. Uh, so here, the, there's the period that it will be running from. It does say the 15th on here, but that's just the time zones. It will be the 14th at midnight when it does end. And they're gonna appear in one to five star terror raid events. So for those of you that aren't as far on in your game, you'll still be able to take part in this and access the one and two star raids if you haven't got that far in your game. And of course, to take part in these events, you are gonna need to have a Nintendo online subscription. So just bear that in mind. If you haven't got one of those, then unfortunately you won't be able to access this event, but we'll cover all of the details when this event does go live. But the funny thing is, with this happening on the Monday, it is going to be an event that's kicking right off after the Seven Star Greninja event is happening, which is going to take place this weekend for the second time. We had the first time it was running on the 27th of January, but it will be returning this Friday on the 10th of February and running up until the Sunday evening on the 12th, where you're going to have the chance, if you haven't already, get yourself a Seven Star Greninja with the Mightiest Mark and that Poison Terror Typing. So we did cover a bunch of builds on the channel already about how you can approach this one. I'm still sticking with Slowbro. I feel like it is the best, most consistent build to go into this raid with. Although there are options like Clef Key, Toxicity, Toxicroak, that are still gonna be good options to take in and do it. And alongside these terror raids, you're gonna get the Lucario and Bronzong, which are in the Spotlight Terror Raids alongside the seven star raid for Greninja. But that is everything that's happening this current weekend. Of course, we'll cover it as soon as it drops live. But as soon as that event does end on the Monday, we're gonna have the Tandem House event happening straight after that. So we'll cover all of the details as always on the channel. And hopefully alongside this event, we will have our announcement for the next seven star terror raid event that will be happening in games, which I would imagine will be a couple of weeks after this one. So we'll be covering all of that as well. But that is everything that I had to cover this morning in regards to the new terror raid events that will be happening and especially one for Valentine's Day as well. So that should be quite fun to take part in, although the item drops might not be as good. It's for a pretty useful Pokemon that can be used in competitive and getting some different terror types with it is always handy. So hope you found today's update useful friends if you have as always drop a like on the video it does massively help out and if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button as well to stay up to date with all of the latest pokemon scarlet and violet news so until next time friends take care of yourselves have a good one and i will see you in the next video very soon so until then take care bye bye